Hi, I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to change the perforated score lines to more of a fold line using your Silhouette software. Well, let me show you a couple of things. Here is an example of the traditional perforated score line. These types of score lines are composed of little cut lines. I'm not overly fond and I'm hoping that you can see that. It almost looks like you've, you've torn the paper. I'm not overly fond of the look and end up hand scoring a lot of the shapes. I think it just looks more finished. Well, here's a finished box using the new method of scoring that I'm going to show you today. And if you notice, it looks like you've actually hand scored it. I learned this technique from members of the Silhouette Plus message board and could not wait to share. I love being part of this forum. Well, let's go ahead and move to the computer and I will show you this technique. Today I'm using the Silhouette Designer Edition, but this technique will work on the standard edition of the software. However, if you're opening any SVG files like we're going to be doing today, you will need the Designer Edition. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you the Silhouette file and how to use this technique with just a Silhouette Studio file. Then I'm going to show you how to use this technique on an SVG Cuts file and an SVG file from a little hut. This file that we're going to start with is a Studio file and it's a ring um, box. I showed you earlier in the video the finish box and this is the bottom of the box and then this is the top. I'm just going to demonstrate the technique on the bottom. The first thing you're going to do is select the box or whatever image you're working on and then you're going to go to right click and you're going to ungroup. Now sometimes I'll right click again you'll need to ungroup twice. In some cases you'll only need to ungroup once. It just depends on the file. So now we're going to select the outer file. We're going to go to the cut window and we're, we do not want to have a cut on the outer cut. We're going to select the no cut option. And now you can see that the outer edge will not be cut and this inner edge will be cut. So now what we're going to do is we're going to send this to the Silhouette and here's where it, it shows that it's not connected to the Silhouette. I'm not going to actually go through and cut it today. I just want to show you the steps because we don't have time. You're going to change the settings and the speed you're going to do a 3 or a 2 or whatever speed works for the cut and then you're going to change the thickness to 1. The next thing I do is I will adjust my blade and obviously you have to do this on your machine and I like it, you can go anywhere from a 0 to a 1. I like my cuts at like about a 0.5 or 0. So you'll go ahead and set it at 0.5, 0 or 1 and then obviously you'll just go ahead and cut. Now the most important thing is when you push the cut button you are not, and it cuts, you're not going to remove it from the Cameo. You're just going to let it stay where it is. Then you're going to come back to the studio file and you're going to be very careful not to move this image. So what we're going to do is click on it, then we're going to go to our cut window and now we've already cut the interior which we really haven't cut. We've just got a very slight score line. So now we need to cut the outer edge of it and I'm going to click away. Let me sh shut this cut window again and I'll open it again. We're going to click on the outside then we're going to go to cut edge. Now if we cut it again it's going to cut these score lines and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to draw a box around the score lines and I'm going to say no cut. So what you have now is just, you're just going to cut the outline because you've already scored it. Now we're going to send it back to the Silhouette Studio and here you need to be sure to change your settings. The paper I'm using is die cuts with a view paper and it's just ultra thick paper. So I'm going to leave my speed on 3 but I'm going to move my thickness all the way up to 33 and I'll probably cut this on a 4 or a 5. 
and then you're going to have click cut again and the machine will go ahead and cut it out on the outside and then you'll have the score marks done with a very light touch and then you'll have the outer edge cut. Well, I'm not going to um, pause now and take a look at the end results because I want to show you how to do this technique with an SVG file from SVG cuts and a little hut file. And each file is going to be a little bit different. And then we'll get back together and I'll show you the, the differences. Let's go ahead and close the cut setting. And now we've already done the studio file. So I'm just going to slide it off. And remember, this is not grouped. So you can click on it and group it, or I'm just going to delete it to make it easier for us. And I'll just get rid of that by selecting it and hit delete. Obviously, you'll want to take the time to group it and slide it off. Well, next, I want to show you an SVG Cuts. I just imported this envelope file from SVG Cuts. But remember, when you use SVG Cut files, you need to enable the cutting lines before you cut. And you also need to change the line width. It will come in at 1. You need to change that to a 0 if you're doing this on a silhouette from SVG Cuts. But we're not going to enable the cut lines because I want to show you a little different technique. Let's go ahead, close the cut line window. I'm going to right click on this. And the first step is very similar. I'm going to ungroup. And then if you notice, I'm right clicking. And I'm going to click on ungroup again because it's taking two times to ungroup. I'm going to go to the cut window. And then I'm going to select that inside. I'm going to click away. Then I'm going to select the inside cut line. I think I have that. Let me go ahead and hit. Yep, there it is. And then all I did was select this line. And then I went cut edge. So now we're going to do the exact same process. I'm going to walk you through this one more time. And then when we do a little hut, I'll, I'll just skip these steps. You're going to send it to the silhouette. You're going to change the settings. You're going to have your speed anywhere from a 1 to a 3. Remember, the thickness is going to be at a 1. And we're going to set our blade on the machine at a 0.5, a 1, or a 0. And it does take a little experimenting depending on the paper. I like to keep the speed constant. I always like to keep the thickness at 1. And then I'll play around with the blade setting. So then we'll go ahead and we'll cut this. But we will not remove the mat. We'll just leave the mat where it is. We've already cut this, so we've just cut these little score lines, and they're barely going to be cut. In fact, when you go to fold them, you may not even see them. You'll start to, you can start to fold along the line, and then you'll be able to figure out where they are. But sometimes they'll be so faint, you won't be able to see them, which is just what we want. We just want them to be a score line. So we've gone ahead, cut the score lines, or actually scored the score lines, and we've left the mat into the silhouette. So I'm going to come back and close this window. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on it. And we're going to go to the cut window. And we want to enable the cut lines around it so we can cut. And then we're going to click on the inside and make it no cut. So we're going to send this once again. We'll send it. We'll change the settings because now we're cutting the outer edge. I'm going to change the thickness to 33 and my blade to a 4. This is like one of the thickest papers from Die Cuts with a View. So you might even do it on 5 on some of your machines, but I found 4 is, is pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and cut. And that's how you do an SVG Cuts file. I'm going to go ahead and close this cut window. And let's slide this. And it's, un it's not grouped, so we're just going to slide it off to demonstrate. Now, this is a file by a little hut. And it's an SVG file. This is the cutest little note hanger that you can put on your refrigerator. So what we're going to do is the same process. We're going to ungroup it. We're going to click on it, go to the cut window. And we're going to say no cut on the outside edge. And then we've left the score lines. We'll send it through. I'm not going to do this because it's the exact same process. We'll send it to cut. We'll adjust it. We won't remove it from the machine. Then we'll get back and we'll go ahead with the next step. 
So let's assume we've done all that. We'll close the cut window. Let's go back in. We'll open it and we'll enable the cut edge. And then this is where it's a little different. If you were to click on, on these particular um, score lines, you could eliminate them one by one. Some people just leave the score lines on the edge, like right there and there on each and like here and here and eliminate the middle ones. And you can do that here. But what we want to do is I just want to get rid of all of them. So all I'm going to do is draw a box over it and go no cut. So now let's see, I lost my cut line. I'm going to do the cut edge again. So now we'll run it through. We'll set it for our thickness of paper. The score lines will be scored at like a one or a zero. And this will be cut using the correct thickness for your paper. Well, it's just that simple. Let's go ahead and take a final look at the score lines. But remember, you might not be able to see the score lines at first, but just start to fold where you think the lines begin and the paper will fold. And it'll take a little trial and error. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our finished product. Well, let's take a final look at the score lines that we just did. This was the first example I showed you and you can see the white cracking where the, the score lines actually cut. And I wanna show you another example. I chose the worst paper to use for this so that you could see what it looks like on really difficult to use paper. And to show you, this is die cuts with a view and it's ultra thick paper. And this is hand scored. So you can see there's even a little cracking with it hand scored. But let me bring in the examples that we just did. This one is using the blade set at 0.5. And as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty smooth line. And let me bring in my favorite one. This one is done at the blade actually set at zero, believe it or not. And you get a pretty good line. There's a little cracking, but that's because of the paper. But if you look at a paper that's a little bit thinner, you just get a perfect score line. So I recommend setting it at 0.5 or even zero for the blade. Well, I'd like to thank you for visiting and please visit my blog at www.paperboutique.blogspot.com or my Facebook page, Paper Boutique with Linda Kaiser for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.